Hello and welcome. First person shooters have been around for some time now and it is one of the most popular gaming genres that ever existed and for good reason. First person shooters generally put the player into the shoes of a guy called John Master Chief who is a guy who runs a gun. Which perfectly segues me onto today's topic that being Halo Combat Evolved which so happens to feature a guy called John whose last name may or may not be Master Chief but he is definitely THE Master Chief. Halo Combat Evolved is turned 23 years old this year which definitely does a good job at making me well, feel old but I have very fond memories of this game you see I didn't play it all the way back in the 2000s actually I played this game quite recently around about 2014 and I played it through a whole bunch of times and with that in mind I thought why not give it another try and well see how good it holds up so I did and in this video I am going to be answering a simple question. Is Halo Combat Evolve worth playing in 2024? The story of Halo Combat Evolve is great. The story starts off with you finding a giant ring world, a Halo world, which so happens to be called Halo. Very cool. Now along your journey you will meet a bunch of friends like the Covenant and the Flood and you will also learn a little bit more about what this Halo is, what it does and what the purpose of it is right until the very end where you realize that the best option is for well you to destroy it which you do. Now the story in Halo Combat Evolve takes a backseat to the gameplay which I like for a couple of reasons. Number one there are so many games today that just don't understand this concept and will just throw in a whole bunch of cutscenes to the point where there are more hours of cutscenes than there are hours of actual gameplay and I am simply not going to shut up about it because so many of these older games managed to balance the gameplay and the story perfectly well. It's fascinating to me how a game like Halo Combat Evolved can have only a handful of cutscenes where you really get to focus on the story and manage to deliver a story that is way better than some modern game stories is in its entirety. If anything it proves that you don't really need to spend that much time on cutscenes, you don't need the story to take up the majority of the game's runtime. You can minimize the story and still deliver a great experience. And that is exactly what Halo Combat Evolve does. It delivers a great story that I remember fondly and love dearly to this day. Let's move on to the levels. The levels in this game are very well done. It's a linear game with linear levels, however it manages to be good by simply changing it up constantly. Now what exactly do I mean by changing it up? Well, you go from running and gunning, to riding a warthog, to flying in a banshee, to riding a freaking tank. It manages to change up what the player is doing constantly and it makes the linear design of the levels feel way less boring by doing so. That is of course all levels except for one, the library level. The library level is very infamous for sucking quite a lot and the reason why is pretty simple. It doesn't adhere to any of these rules I just mentioned. You don't go from running and gunning to riding a warthog or to flying a banshee or riding a ghost or riding a tank. You just run and gun where the game overloads you with a whole bunch of enemies in a very linear 
very simplistically designed level that just basically repeats itself over and over. However, despite that one, all the other levels in this game are very well done. They are very fun to play through and very memorable, especially the last mission that is absolutely fantastic. As for the missions, well, the missions are what you would expect from a linear game. It's basically more of a context to why the hell you are traversing through these levels in the first place. There are no side missions or anything like that and well it's nothing to complain about at all they do what they have to do and that's all you can ask for overall the level design and the missions in this game are perfect they do what they need to do and they are pretty good at it despite the wet stain that is the library missions every other mission is perfectly well done So for a game that's nearly 23 years old, how good is the graphics? Well, for the time it's pretty darn good, however it's 23 years old so obviously the graphics aren't gonna look that good, but I'm not somebody that really cares about graphics, how I don't mind it at all actually, because graphics just aren't going to hold up and I think that a game visually can look good in many different ways depending on its art style and the details and levels that is put into the world. I think Borderlands 2 looks good because of its shell shaded graphics, it's an art style choice and I think that Fallout New Vegas also has some terrible graphics but its environmental design is fantastic and it helps the game look good. When it comes to Halo Combat Evolved I think this game's environments are fantastic, it looks amazing to this day. There are beautiful views, the world feels alien and unique and well that is all I can ask for. For a game that's this old, it looks good simply because of that factor. And well, if you are one of those crybabies that can't stand old graphics, don't worry because you can still enjoy this game with some relatively new graphics. Because the Halo Master Chief Edition, well, it basically solves that problem, giving you some newer graphics that looks good. So there's that option. Now I think think it is important to highlight some of the other more smaller elements, some of the more smaller details in the world and the environment. For example, you can shatter glass. In some levels, the floors have glass within them and if you shatter it, enemies can fall through it. It's a cool little detail. The explosion of vehicles also look fantastic, even to this day, and the Remaining husk of the exploded vehicle just adds that much detail to the game. Then there are the NPCs that are very well designed and have some incredible AI for its time. You can watch them board the aircraft after you have saved them. They will acknowledge Master Chief and communicate to him and cheer for him. Hell, they will even assist whenever Master Chief climbs in a warthog or a tank. And when you ride around in the warthog and you make a jump, the NPCs will cheer and it helps give these NPCs some character. It helps them feel more like actual real soldiers that are actually there worth a player. Let's move on to the gameplay. Let's start with the combat. The combat in this game is pretty darn fun. Now it is not as fast paced as something like Doom Eternal, but it doesn't need to be. Now the game is also lacking in a lot of modern day bullshit, like no sprint button. Because I genuinely think that there are a lot of FPS games out there right now that really doesn't benefit by having a sprint button. 
just remove the sprint button and make the player go at a fast pace. That's all you need. And it's exactly what Halo Combat Evolved does. You also have a whole bunch of unique weapons that are practical in different circumstances. Now, this game doesn't have a whole lot of weapons, but the variety it has is good enough. And like I said, practical in different circumstances. For example, the alien weapons are generally more useful when it comes to dealing with enemies that have shields. They are also the big weapons that are generally useful for the more tanky enemies and well the literal enemy tanks. Staying on the topic of enemies, the enemy variety in this game is very good. This is another thing that I will constantly mention because I think it is a problem in a lot of modern games where it seems like developers simply get lazy and just cut it short when it comes to enemy variety like it's not important but it very well is when you have a game that's about 10 hours long it is important to give the player new enemies to deal with that have unique movesets or have some unique thing to them that the previous enemies the player fought didn't have it helps the combat stay fresh and cool and it's exactly the case in halo combat evolved as you will get a whole bunch of new enemies throughout the game and it does exactly that. The NPCs are also helped by some brilliant AI. For example the elites will dodge and move, they are nimble and fast and will try and avoid taking shots from the player. You can also see the smaller enemies cower in fear like the grunts who will run away as soon as you kill an elite. The enemies will also do their best to dive away from grenades. If you throw a grenade that they see, they will dive away from it to avoid its blast, which is a super cool feature. I also like the fact that there are so many additional weapons that the player can use. For example, the turrets. Both the turret at the back of the Warthog is usable for the player, as well as the Covenant turrets that you can use. It just makes the world feel more interactive and like everything actually exists and isn't just some prop or placeholder. And it also helps with the combat as, well, these turrets are very useful in certain circumstances and it just makes the combat overall feel more complete. Then there's the music. The music in this game absolutely slaps. I don't think you need me to tell you that Halo's music is good, but uh, Halo's music is bloody good. Overall, the gameplay in this game is great. It's around about 10 hours long, and throughout those 10 hours, the gameplay stays refreshing, and more importantly, it stays fun. Look, in general I think first person shooter games hold up much better than, well, any other genre of games. Yeah, I think the first person shooter genre holds up the best. And I think Halo Combat Evolved is evidence of that. It's a game that is nearly 23 years old and, well, it's still damn fun. There is of course the Master Chief Collection that helps the game look much better, but I don't really think that you need it. To answer the question I asked in the beginning of the video, should you play Halo Combat Evolved? The answer to that question is yes. I highly recommend this game. I think this game holds up really well and it is still a whole lot of fun. And that is all I have for this video. I thank you very much for watching, bye bye.